Hey everybody, Jonathan Burns here. Today we're going behind the scenes, behind the edit of the video for Hold Youth of the Night, which is a video I just cut together yesterday, and I wanted to give you a little bit behind the scenes about how I put it together. I was commissioned to film a band down in Asbury Park in New Jersey. While I was there, I wanted to get some footage of another band called Little Vicious, who I actually thought had a really great sound to them. I was trying to save my audio and video and battery life and all that stuff, but I'm like, these guys, these guys are pretty good. So. I kept the cameras rolling and I didn't get all their tracks, but I did get their first track called Hold You, and that's what we did. So if you take a look, like I said, I didn't know I was gonna record them initially. If you look here, um, this is my timeline and let's see if we can put it in a way that's a little bit more visible. That's good, okay. And if we can just make it a little bit tighter. And here we have the full, it's like roughly what, three minutes? That's my name, there you go. Uh, yeah, 3 minutes, 11 seconds, like my favorite band, 311. Okay, so, as you can see, um, I was giving a recording uh, from the audio technician uh, for the whole night, because the band that commissioned me basically was like, we want to we stick it together, we kind of want to make a thing out of it. I'm like, great, I don't do audio, I do shooting and I do editing, I don't really do audio technician, you should really bring somebody in for them. They're like, that's fine, we have a guy there working the table, He'll record it, put it on a thumb drive, give it to you. So, I had the whole night. So, here we go, down here at the bottom, I have Little Vicious Hold You Through the Night. That's the audio track, and it's pretty it's pretty boss, because the guy, Frank, I think his name was, did a great job mixing it together. And then right here, we have the uh, stable shot, which I set up my, uh, my one camcorder on. And as you can see, it just recorded everything from one stationary shot. Which is not very cinematic, obviously. But it's a good B-roll cut if you want to cut to something. The more cuts you have, the more angles you have, the better, because it gives you more options, obviously. And then up here, we have my Canon. And as you can see, there's movement to it. Unfortunately, I did not have my stabilizer that night because I didn't think I was actually going to need it. I was told to bring tripods. It's going to be on a stage. Um, and I wasn't sure if I could even get on the stage and whatnot. So I didn't actually prep with a stabilizer, so I didn't bring one because it was very last minute. So, on me, yes. Now you live, you learn. And now I'm very happy because now, check out this bad boy. I've got a glide cam, and it's kind of pretty. It is not balanced right now. And this is totally just not about the video at all. I'm just happy to have a glide cam, and it's really cool because in the future, I'm gonna do a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool shots with this glide cam. And you're not going to get any of that shakiness that you see in this video. But, you know, this is an old video. Let's not look backwards too much because we got bigger and better things down the pipeline. So, like I said, we got some really cool Canon shots, which I did, like, handheld. Uh, let's see. This one is probably like, the best one I came out of right here. In my opinion. That's it. So basically what I did there is that it was shaky. As you can see, I was going around the, um, the pole of the, for the speakers. So what I did is that I just went down to here, over to my inspector. I went to stabilization, which granted it will crop it a little bit, but it will give it that smooth pan over that you want. Finally, um, for transitions, these, these nice transitions, uh, like here's like a film burn. So kind of, if you look at it, see that? So, if you took that out, right, you would get this. See what I'm saying? Not very good. And the reason I did that is because it was, this this right here was not smooth at all. And this kind of was, and when I applied the stabilization to this part of the uh, video, it was, it just, it didn't flow. So if you put a nice flare on top of it, or something of that effect of a transition, when you put it all together, it kind of looks hypnotic, but it looks definitely way better than what you had. See what I mean? It's smooth, right? It almost seems kind of cool. It's got that vibe to it. I mean, you already have lights shining on the stage, so it just adds to that a little bit. So, after that, um, you know, nothing major. Uh, it got some titles in the beginning. Um, Hello, you guys live out there? Oh, good point. In the beginning. If you look right here, this is just her coming out on stage. Um, this is a shot from like another another video that they did. 
uh, that night where they were talking to the audience. I thought it was a cool shot that Matt was kind of like just pointing out one of his fans. Um, and then here it's just like, that's taken from a completely different song, but I kind of like the way that she was really rocking it, so I put it in. And the reason why is because I did not have, and as you see, it starts here. This is where the B-roll begins, right here. So everything leading up to that, I've got nothing. Like, there's nothing here. So I have a shot of them setting up, like them prepping, a cool shot of her rocking out. And so you can use b-roll footage to fill in the gaps. I mean, it's not ideal, but if you can have like a style to it, it actually does help. So we got the title. I like using font code and code light. I think it's pretty cinematic. And that's kind of, that's pretty much it, guys. And then you go to the end, it's, it's really simple. We just got, we got their logo. Um, and I know that they have Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So I figured that would be a good lead in to follow them on different social media. And then me and my company, and only visual. So there you have it. Just wanted to give you a little bit behind the scenes. I'm a giant fan of Little Vicious. Can't wait for the album to come out. I think it comes out in July. Don't quote me. Um, and if you guys have any questions, write down below, and I will talk to you soon.